Ukraine fatigue is starting to set in around the world. Putin is continuing to commit appalling atrocities. NATO Secretary General warns that the war could go on for years. <laughs> the rate at which ammunition is being used is incredibly fast. We need more. And in the battle for the Donbass, Ukraine is being forced to retreat. Russian forces appear set to capture all of Sverodonetsk. Russia will claim that this is a tactical win for it, and in many ways it does allow them to say they have captured all of Lugansk province, which was one of their political goals. So whether or not they can exploit this victory by moving into other parts of the Donbass, that is unclear. This is video into us from the Donetsk region. The region's governor is posting images of a school set on fire by a Russian bombardment. Ukraine, the opinion of the Commission, deserves a European perspective. It deserves the candidate status, of course, on the understanding that the country will carry out a number of further important reforms. When Russian officials give out statements like this, first off, we should take them with a grain of salt. I think it's primarily intended probably for local consumption within Russia itself to bolster the narrative that Putin has been trying to put out all along and reframe this not as a conflict between Russia and Ukraine, but a broader conflict between Russia and the West. Done! All over $100 million. Miratov is Russian. He helped found the newspaper Novaya Gazeta, uh, which is a publication renowned for applying a critical eye to the Kremlin itself. Miratov has been critical of Putin, and he is critical of the Russian invasion of Ukraine.